right, my friend. Oh. <laughs> now then, my friend, scared me to death. <laughs> We've got a treat for you today because we're off to Edgewater in New Jersey to a place called Baumgards. And we've got the tractor boy back as well. The most hated hashtag. Please like me. <laughs> in the world. We're off to a place called Bam Gods. Um, it's Asian fusion, Chinese food. We've also got Big Dave in there who knows about his food. It's one of his favourite places. Uh, it, it has been requested that he comes back on the channel again uh, and he's recommended that we go to this place. So he's going to drive us in this massive truck of his. We're going to take you guys with us. We're going to see some scenery along the way because this is Sopranos country, my friends. The Sopranos. What a great TV show that was. Sorry, say again. What's he, what's he on about? Anyway, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. I'm actually on my tiptoes here. The, 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 the truck's that big. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so back by popular demand, we've got Big Dave with us. Absolutely. Now we're going to Baumgarts in Edgewater. Correct. Now, Asian fusion, Chinese food. Yeah, no, I think you had it right. Yeah, it's Asian fusion, but um, three main things. I mean, the original location actually is the town that is neighboring the town I grew up in, which is in Englewood, which is north of the George Washington Bridge, about 20, 30 minutes here from here. And that was the original location. And it, from my understanding, back in like the 50s or 40s, or maybe even earlier, it was an old diner kind of setup with a soda fountain, big one, where you get, you know, malts and, uh, you know, shakes and every, everything else like that. And then somewhere along the line, I think in the 80s, an Asian family took over and they started adding to the menu. So they didn't get rid of all the stuff. You can still get burgers and sandwiches and whatnot. But they added Chinese food and I personally started going there in the late eighties with my family. Um, and then it spiraled off. There was two or three other locations that opened up elsewhere. And unfortunately, um, the, except for the one we're going to, all the other ones were purchased by somebody else. So the one we're going to here in Edgewater is this, is the, you know, the, the original owners, even, even though it's not the original location, obviously, I think it has the best food still there. Um, and they also known for their scratch made ice cream too. So um, one of the reasons I would go there originally was at the end of the school year, um, my parents would take us there for Sundays, my brother and I, um, on top of having lunch there. And it was always great food, so. What's your favorite uh, dish there? Um, well, I think you're gonna see some of it, obviously as we order it, but it's probably the best sesame chicken I've ever had in my life. I don't know if that's big over there, but. It's kind of like a General Tso's, if you know that is, um, but it's there's no spice to it. Um, also, they have a crispy shrimp with honey walnut sauce, which is really good. Um, they have a cold sesame noodles appetizer. It's almost like it's in like a sesame flavored peanut butter. It's really good. Um, they have a duck crepe, which I know you said you wanted Ooh, to try. Yeah, I want to try the duck. Yeah. yeah. So we'll get a few things, pick at it, and at the end, obviously, the ice cream is, is excellent. So. We're gonna try it all. Absolutely. Don't forget, we were gonna mark this out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 as well. Dave's gonna mark it out of 10, and also Damien is in the back there as well. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this. I am hungry and I can't wait. So, are we there yet? Are we there yet? 
You always get the child in the back, don't you? Are we there yet? No, not yet. Almost. Okay. Almost. Sorry, you were over there, didn't see you. Um, so we've got a little booth here. Uh, I think before we go any further though, just have a look at the menu, my friends. Right, quite an extensive menu. The only controversial thing is, and Dave did mention it, it's got photos on the menu. Now we all know, I was going to say we all know what Gordon Ramsay says when there's photos on the menu. However, I've been to Gordon Ramsay's fish and chip shop the other day and it was diabolical, so yeah. I'm not sure I'm going to take, take, his, I'm gonna take, take what he says with a pinch of salt. Um, I'm going to ask though, for, for starters, what, uh, what Dave would recommend. All right, well, I kind of outlined it earlier but we're gonna go with the cold sesame noodles the house dumplings and the duck crepe and who knows they may get addicted to something and then get a multiple you know so we'll see how it goes but those are the starters sounds good to me the only thing that's missing over here is you don't have prawn crackers which is like styrofoam okay. uh kind of crackers and stuff um, so i'm gonna have a uh we get three ice waters but then i'm also gonna have uh, non sweet and iced tea. I'm looking forward to this anyway. We'll see you guys in a minute. Right, my friends, so we have got the, is it the entree? The entree? Appetizers. Appetizers. Entree's Starter. the main, isn't it? Yeah. Starter. Starter, basically a starter. So starters, if you're in Mansfield. However, uh, before we go any further, take a closer look, my friends. Right, there you go. So I am going to hand you over to Big Dave over here, who's going to explain what we've got. Because, I mean, it, it's noodles. It, well, Dave will tell you. So what you have here is called the sizzling duck crepe. It's basically pieces of duck chopped up. And I guess, it, I don't know if it's pan fried, what have you. They give you pieces of bread. This is um, crust cut off. What do you call plum sauce or hoisin sauce? And then they have some kind of sprouts or whatever. So you, you put on the sauce, then the duck, or oh, actually the sauce then the sprouts and the duck and you just eat it like a like a i don't know small hors d'oeuvre whatever 
and you have the dumplings here, which are steamed, I believe, chicken dumplings. And they have these, it's like a pickled piece of celery. It's like with sugar. They're really good. That's what the smaller items are. And then over here, you have the cold sesame noodles. And it's almost like a, again, like a sesame flavored peanut paste on it. It's delicious. This is right. Good. So let's dig in. I think I'm going to go for one of the, uh, the chicken, you say chicken dumplings first. Chicken, yeah. So we'll go in for this. A little bit of sauce on there as well. Yeah. Pop that on my plate. Really there we good. go. Pop that on my plate. I'm going to bite into this and then we can see. Exactly. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Get a little bit of soy sauce on there, I think. That's soy sauce. Wow. That is beautiful. Now, we'll just show you Dave. Uh, how he's actually done this so the piece of duck with the sauce beneath it and then again you eat it just like a finger food i guess if you want to call it that excellent good Daniel. mm-hmm like a crispy pancake right i'm going to try mine so we get the uh, the bread yeah. nice and soft is that like yeah it is very soft and i'll take we put some of this sauce on it poison sauce poison sauce there Across like that. Well, if you ever get like um, um, mushu pork, they usually give you that with the pancakes. Okay. So this is the this is the duck. Yeah. Pop that on there like that. Have I done that right? And then get some of this on no, it as well. You can't. Little, you can't do it wrong, but little it doesn't. Matter. Little bit of there we go like that. There we go. Okay, let's go for this. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> okay wow very crispy it is wow it is crispy just look at that what is that like so is that what's it wrapped in i'm not sure i'm gonna find out i think that's just the duck skin so they wow. chop up the meat and they fry it in the skin if i had to guess so you've got the crispy skin got the duck on the inner it's absolutely beautiful Wow, and the bread soaking up that hoisin sauce. Right, mm. beautiful. Right, so we're going to try the cold sesame noodles with the peanut satay over the top of it. Here we go. I thought when you said it was cold, I thought, sounds a bit weird having it cold. Why you wouldn't have them warm? Wow, that's got a bite to it. That's got a real, wow. That's got a, oh, it's spicy. I didn't realize it was spicy. That is spicy, Damien. That is very spicy. Gorgeous though, really nice. Mm. Wow. That is good. Very messy. What do you think, Damien? Pretty damn good. Spicy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you think, Dave? Really good. It, the spice does catch up on you, though, doesn't it? Damien just said it. You, it's come through. Yeah. Bit of a kick to it. Not overwhelming, but yeah. Yeah, it's good. Really good. <laughs> really good. I just, I, I thought, oh, new cold noodles, but it works. We're thinking it may have given us the vegetable ones of these. Yeah, but they're still good. Yeah, but they're very nice. Wow. Beautiful. I think so far for me, though, the noodles have been <laughs> my favourite. It's the most unique. You don't see a lot. You don't see a lot of it, but it's making my ears tingle. It's a bit, it has got a bit of a kick, it cre and it creeps up on you. Damien said, at first you put them in, and you didn't realise, and then it's like, wow, okay. That's got a bite. Right, so that's the starters done. Uh, I'm going to hand you over to Dave again, uh, and he's going to tell you what we've ordered for mains. Okay, so guys, we got sesame chicken for myself. Damien wanted something with beef, so the closest thing I, I thought to get him was, uh, well, he ordered it, but to suggest was the sesame beef. So it's going to be the same sauce. 
it'll be interesting to see if he likes the chicken or the beef better. I, I've always, I've never even had the sesame beef here, but I can tell you the sesame chicken is probably the best I've had. And then our friend here, Mr. McMaster, got the orange chicken. And in addition, we got the uh, spare ribs. Awesome. So we'll give those a shot. That's the first for us for the spare ribs too. So, but if it's anything like the rest of the food, it'll be good. Cool. I'm looking forward to this. And uh, I did ask for sweet and sour chicken because that's no, my norm at home. Uh, I go for sweet and sour chicken, but they didn't have that. So we've gone for the orange chicken. And I do like that as well. I think that's about the closest they've got to it. So I'm really looking forward to this. And uh, we've got the uh, white rice with it as well, uh, which is like the well, boiled rice, but they call it white rice over it's here. It's steamed they? white rice. Steam, steamed white rice. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, I've got a new one as well. New napkin. So looking forward to this. We'll see you guys in a minute. Got a little uh, moist towel as well. Lovely word. A little moist. Nobody likes the word moist, do they? A moist towel. Uh, at this table, it's... Uh... <laughs> Seems to be a favourite. A favourite. A little moist towelet. There we go. See my hand. the pants. <laughs> they don't like me. <laughs> be nice to him in the comments. He says, they don't like me. I don't want to be on it. They don't like me. <laughs> Right, my friends. So uh, we've got the uh, we've got the sesame chicken, the sesame pork. Uh, I've got the uh, orange chicken there as well. We've got the spare ribs there. Uh, before we go any further, take a closer look, my friends. Right, I think first things first, I'll be uh, kind. We're gonna, I'm gonna hand you over to Dave. He can show you what the, what it is uh, in there, the chicken's like in there. Wow, that looks really good. I'm gonna hand you over to Dave. All right, guys, so this is the sesame chicken um, that I was talking about. And I guess, you know, let me get a better grip on it because of what I wanna show you in a second. 90% of the time when you get Chinese food specifically, there's a reason it's fairly inexpensive. It's because they use fillers and things. If you look like the profile of that chicken, there's, there's nothing but cubes of chicken. There's no breading or breadcrumb mixed in with that. So, you know, you, you go to your normal place where this may be seven, eight, ten bucks, you're gonna get that. You get what you pay for here. It's a little more expensive, but it's, it's worth it. Right, so got the uh, orange chicken here. And um, wow, yeah, I mean, just look at that. That is awesome, dropping it all over the table there. Um, oh, wow, that's beautiful, really. Got the zest of the orange coming through. Loads of chicken though. Immense amounts of chicken. I mean, there is a lot there. Very nice. What's your uh, beef like, Damien? Can Good. I have a, look, a closer look at the beef? What you get? Oh, that's a bit of chicken, sorry. See my pork later. Children, children, right. I think I might go for a spare rib as well. Just, I mean, look at this. Check the back. Mm. Oh, wow. That was good. Mm. Very, very good. Slight. There's like a slight barbecue taste to it. That would be the barbecue spare ribs part, mm. part of it. The barbecue, yeah, you can taste that bit. The barbecue. Anyway, yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> it's spot on, but for me, the orange chicken is beautiful. A little bit of spring onion in there as well. And then you got some. What have we got in there? The peppers. Got some peppers in there, then, yeah. Wow. Oh, it's very orangey. Very orangey. Right, we'll eat this. Come back to you, and then we'll mark it out of ten. But this is beautiful. Really nice. So tasty. Mm. My favorite thing is to sop up this sesame sauce with the rice. 
Very good. Yeah. Excellent. I, I, this, you don't go wrong. The sesame chicken here. It's, like yeah. I said, I've been having it for over 30 years. Using the rice to soak up. Uh, yeah. The sauce is, I think, probably the best part. So. Wow, I've got to tell you, <laughs> I think Dam Damien is done. There is so much food. I mean, the great thing about America is you just get it to go, um, which I think we're going to have to do in a minute because it's it's there is a lot of there is a lot of meat there. It's insane. This is definitely a dinner portion. It is. That is, uh, yeah. For a family of four. Filling, very filling. Oh, I might be having it for supper. Also got some root beer as well, A and W root beer. Love a little bit of root beer. First, um, if I, I think I've told you before, but if you're new to the channel, um, I first heard about this on Petricelli, the uh, TV series. He used to have uh, root beer all the time out of his caravan or something. Right, I'll see you guys outside. I'm gonna mark this out of ten. I also had a little bit of um, Dave's sesame chicken absolutely gorgeous i think i'd probably go for the sesame chicken next time over the orange chicken i think the orange chicken a little bit overpowering on the orange but beautiful beautiful wow oh geez <clears throat> right we're going to get this to go because um <laughs> it's the first chinese restaurant that's actually giving me the meat sweats um, there's that much meat on there, it's insane. Beautiful tender chicken, um, zesty. Had another piece of Dave's sesame chicken as well. Um, but wow, uh, yeah, it's beat me, I have to say. Um, good grief, and it's, that's beat Damien as well. So, gonna get this to go, and uh, we'll see you guys outside and round this up. Wow, oh dear, good grief. See you later at supper. Right, my friends. So, first things first, one twenty forty-three, hundred and twenty dollars forty-three cents plus a twenty percent tip because uh, it's America. America. Uh, America. 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 So, Land of the free. Land of the brave. Anyway, um, I mean, it's not the cheapest, but then again, that's not what this was about. No. It's about being. Uh, re a really good, nice restaurant. Yeah. Your favorite places. One of my favorite. Yeah. I mean, I'd say for Chinese, it's one of the top two or three and it's uh, the first that's given me the meat sweats yeah. the chinese meat sweats there you i'm go. gonna get mine out of the way first i'm gonna say the uh the orange chicken was a little bit overpowering um but th the amount of meat that was in it was unbelievable um the uh the ribs tad dry i have to say on the ribs yeah um, for me, the, the starters, I like the cold uh, sesame, noodles. sesame noodles. They were really nice, and I didn't think I was going to like them. The, You're the, still wearing some of them. Yeah, the duck, and well, da I'm going to let Damien explain the duck bit, what we would change, because I agree with him. So my score on it, I'm going to go with a, a an eight. An eight. How's that? Is that good? Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, Over yeah, to you. Yeah. Yeah, I'd give it an eight and a half. Uh, I think the had, had he ordered what I had ordered, and he had mentioned earlier there was a sesame chicken, um, and you know had we not gotten the ribs, which was a first for all of us, I think his score would have been closer to mine. But I, I was going to say about eight and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and you know I lay down for the ribs. It was my call. Yeah. Not as good as I expected. Dry, dry, very dry, no sauce. And to Lee's point on the uh, duck. It needs the little pancakes like we're all used to. Maybe a bit of shredded seaweed on the back of it and uh, the plum sauce, you spread it over, you roll them up. It wasn't quite that. So I was uh, sort of English disappointed in respect of uh, the American version of the duck. 
yeah, you like the, the, yeah. like the pancake. Yeah. Bit, bit odd being on a bit of bit of bit of hovis or a bit of key. Yeah, with the crust cut off. With the crust cut off. Yeah, yeah. I felt like I was five again. <laughs> <laughs> Score wise? Uh, uh seven eight. Seven point eight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think, I think it, listen, I think it's just, uh it's one of those places that uh it's kinda unique in what they offer and I enjoy it and uh glad you guys liked it. Do you know, I want to give Dave, give us a thumbs up because um, Dave uh, said, let's do something. We're trying to do different things. Yeah. He says, oh, you don't want to do another fish and chip. I'm always doing fish and chips, breakfast. And Dave says, look, let's do something a little bit different. Go somewhere a bit different, uh, you know, and show the viewers something a little bit different. So yep. that's what we've done. So that's all from us today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and you do like the content. Uh, and if you've got this far, you must do. And. Uh, be nice to him in the comments. Yeah. I don't want him to cry. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.